Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for another Patreon poll. We haven't done one of these for a long time. Uh, there have been a lot of things going on, a lot of things that have gotten in the way. Uh, theme months, Joe Con, uh, big events like Cobra Convergence 3. Uh, so we haven't done one of these for a while, and it is about time to give you guys an opportunity to uh, help decide what will be reviewed on this channel. I have three choices, as always, and these are all from the 90s. We've spent a lot of time reviewing 80s G.I. Joe toys, probably too much time, uh, so we've got to get back to the 90s. If we stay in the 80s, um, we will run out of 80s toys to review, and this will be nothing but the 90s G.I. Joe channel for week after week and month after month. So we really need to get some of these 90s toys out of the way. we got to get to them. Uh, so it'll be all 90s this time. I've arranged these options from least rant worthy to most rant worthy. So if you want a ranty review, you can decide what rant level you want. Option one is 1991 Ozone from Eco Warriors. Uh, I said least rant worthy. I didn't say it was not rant worthy at all. However, I think Ozone here is uh, probably the least rant worthy of the Eco Warriors figures, uh, despite the quite outrageous colors and the accessories. There's actually a few good things going on with this figure, and so I'd like to point those out. Um, I may have some comments about the Eco Warriors themselves, um, but the figure itself, there are some decent things to talk about. So uh, there might be moderate rant levels, but uh, not an all-out rant for Ozone. I do have some, some good thoughts about Ozone, uh, along with some criticism. So uh, if you would like uh, 1991 Ozone to be reviewed, then you would choose option one. Option two is 1993 Mace, and this figure is actually pretty good. I um, actually don't have uh, really anything bad to say about the figure itself. The figure itself is absolutely fine. So what could be rant worthy about this figure? Well, not the figure itself, but the accessories. And if you know anything about Mace, you already know what I'm talking about. So um, I would have some uh, some sharp comments about the accessories on this figure, although I would praise the figure itself. Uh, actually, really nice figure that I like a lot. So if you would like to see Mace reviewed, uh, then choose option two. For the highest rant level, I have option number three, which is Leatherneck version 3 from 1993. Oh my god, what did they do to Leatherneck? I'll have quite a lot to say about this figure, so if you want top level rant in your review, then choose option number 3 from 1993, Leatherneck version 3. Those are your three options. You do need to be a Patreon supporter to vote, so please check out my Patreon page to find out how. But support at any level will give you the right to vote. Even one single dollar a month uh, will give you the right to vote in this poll. The polling will start on August 6, 2018 and will end on August 10th, and the winner will get a review on August 19th. As you view this video, the poll should be up, so go to Patreon. Voting starts now.